Hi everyone, for today's review we'll be looking at the recently released um, Hasbro Marvel Legends War Machine. As you can see he looks great in packaging. He comes with um, plenty of accessories. Sorry about that, this receive on defect packaging. So they did a pretty good job for the packaging. Looks great. The packaging also reminds me of that of uh, figure arts. So I don't know if that's something that has was trying to target with this uh, releases. More accessories, but the price is around $30. I'll say look around, especially right now with the holiday season like GameStop or Amazon, they usually have it on sale. So that's definitely something to look out for if you're still looking to buy this figure. So let's open it up. And here's a closer look at all the accessories out of the packaging. As you can see it has a lot of missiles, um, jet thrusters, uh, fire effects. So they did a great job with the head sculpt over here too. So one thing that I noticed is he doesn't have an additional pair, pair of hands. That would have been great. So if you're familiar with Marvel Legends, um, this pretty much has a standard articulation. So you can see ab crunch, the hip does turn, the waist. Ankle pivot. And it broke. Oh, great. So I guess this wasn't articulated, so it was just glued on, so I just glued it back on. I was thinking that it would have turned like this, but I guess it doesn't. So at least we know there's that's it's not articulated that way. So right off the bat, it's a little bit disappointing. Cause I don't know if this joint is glued on. I don't know if the glue went inside the elbow art articulation. So it's supposed to be it's supposed to have double articulation on the elbow, but I can only bend it at one point. Okay, so let's move on. So, what I notice about his rockets, they do, you can set them up like this. So that's, that's a nice feature. I thought they wouldn't move. So overall, I mean, this figure has a really good presence, just standing still. And let's change his head. Tell you that it's not really that easy. So here's how he looks. So I guess when mine he did go to war, so he lost his hand, so Let's set on this effect parts too. 
let me see where does this go I think this goes over here let me look at the box real quick so here's how he looks with some of the um, effect parts added on so he looks great That's the only thing I, I did wish Hasbro would have added more like extra accessories to to this figure or just a little bit of paint, especially like metallic paint. And of course better quality control. I think over here and his fist uh, rockets, you can add this other effects too. Then the last ones are his thruster accessories. What I noticed too is you can take them apart. Let's say if you want to post them flying, you can take it apart. Here's how he looks with his leg thrusters. I wish that would be more stable. I had to lean it, um, stand it against the um, backdrop not very stable so they do fall apart easily especially since it's just this peg connecting it so in the future I do hope um, Hasbro improves on that that it has a better way to attach to the feet And here he is standing next to the um, latest movie Iron Man and McFarlane Toys, um, the newest Spawn that they have released. And as you can see, McFarlane Toys, they're usually a bigger scale than Marvel Legends. So I'll say War Machine is the standard size of a Marvel Legends, um, not the smallest, but I'll say the average height. But overall, I recommend this if you're into Marvel Legends and this is a great since we haven't received an updated look on War Machine um, especially since the Tobias version so I, I think they did, Hasbro did a great job on improving this this character especially on his first ex appearance in the comics so I highly recommend it and hopefully in the future they add more accessories better paint and of course better quality that way his arm doesn't fall apart like mine. But once again, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.